Hey, hey, you're with Easy Jeezy. We're out in the garage and it's the moment of truth. Yes, it finally let up. It, uh, it's been raining. I finally got uh, that transmission assembled and put in the car. And, uh, gee, doesn't look the same, does it? Yeah, the pressure plate, uh, that was an old style tranny, and I had one of those pressure plates on the 2110. I figured it's a good time to exercise it. I must confess, this is not the first run. Yesterday I finished, got this thing in finally, and it's like, you, ain't no way I was going to not try it. And uh, I, I went out, and it was not going into second gear quite all the way. So I brought her back into the garage, and it started coming down, raining cats and dogs it was thundering and it's been so dry around here and it's like well i waited and waited waited and finally it got dark and it didn't stop raining and i said ah tomorrow's another day so we're gonna give it a shot now with the 2110 and uh i got my uh high dollar uh Jeanberg shifter in there i made a slight adjustment to it and uh as far as i got my <laughs> i got my track phone in my pocket and uh I got my uh, metric Leatherman, you know, can't go wrong if, with, if you fix anything with those, right? So, uh, where did I put that? Which pocket? Oh, here it is. Yeah, I got, I got my metric Leatherman, and uh, we're going to go and test this baby out. I got a few errands to go on. Uh, if you guys like to read, I really recommend uh, James Patterson. He's a great author. This I, uh, book I just finished... Uh, is uh bullseye another one i really like is lee childs that whole jack reacher series is just a blast i mean you can't set it down let's see i've got the garage star opener it's been cold and crummy there's still water out in the street but i just finished watching an episode of uh roadkill with uh <laughs> I want to say Finnegan and Flanagan. I can't remember those guys. Uh, yeah, you know the ones I mean. Dave and uh, Freiberger and uh, Finnegan or whatever the hell his name is. <laughs> Laugh my ass off the whole way through. So uh, this is a close ratio. And uh, why is the carpet all matted up? Let's see what's see what goes on here. Now it sounds a little funny when it started too. I don't have an oil pressure gauge in this thing. I got it mounted right on the engine. An idiot light's all you need. So let me get my uh, seat belt on. have high expectations let's see well reverse works that's why I always test it before I leave the garage you know I put it in all four gears and let's make sure forward goes because it's a, enough of an angle on that driveway yeah so first and reverse are working that's a good sign I don't like that clicking noise and it's not from uh, I let the clutch out to get some done, so anyhow. See when I so I don't know, maybe it's a jacked up pressure plate. <laughs> I don't care, I wanna try this thing out. See if all that labor paid off here. We'll go we'll go down the easy way here. Okay, stayed in first. Come on, baby. Ah! See? Shit. It just, it's not going into second and staying there. It did a couple of times. Let's try it again. Yesterday I got it to work a few times. See? It's. Gosh! It's almost like the shift fork is not pulling it back far enough. There's third. Now this is close ratio, see? So 
here we are doing 2,500 RPM in fourth gear and we're doing barely 40 miles an hour. All right, guys, we're back from a ride and my battery's really down low. It didn't work out. The tranny's got to come out. That's okay. It's not the end of the world. I got this other one with a close third and fourth uh, that was the growler. We'll take that close ratio out and get into it, see what I overlooked on that. And uh, we'll put this one in and see if that cured the growling noise. When you're running these oversized tires, it's just nice to have a, a non-stock gearbox. And uh, it works out really well. So as I find out more and we do some more testing, I'll pass that on to you. And uh, I hope you have a good one. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subbing. Easy Jeezy, out.